Yes. Okay, this comes to us from Kevo. Hey, Kevo. And I guess before he, I'll just read what he says. Okay. It's kind of a follow-up question, I think, to something else. I managed to get uh, Point Linux to work almost perfectly thanks to your tutorial features. Great. However, whenever I'm using it to watch watch video, the monitor goes dim at regular intervals, despite oh setting power settings as per attached screenshot. Oh, he attached some screenshots oh, great. for us. I so can't that wait to see. is right. helpful. Very, very helpful. Um, even the TV connected <clears throat> via HDMI goes dim. I use it in AC mode. Another issue I get is when I connect the system to my TV via HDMI, I get audio from the TV as well as the machine, the laptop. Right, right, right. Speakers in twin view mode using NVIDIA configuration utility. If I leave in absolute mode, it seems to work properly. He sent another screenshot okay. to explain try to bring these up. that. Okay, there's one screenshot. So you can see that, uh, okay, we've got the twin view working. The TV's connected, looking good. We've got, one. okay, this is the first thing I would have had you look at, your uh, D, your, uh, your power management. So on AC power, never turn off the uh, computer, never go to sleep. But here's the thing, under display, put display to sleep when inactive or never, and set display brightness to 100%. So, And dim display when idle is unchecked, so that all seems like that should do what you're trying to do, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. There's more to the email, I presume? So, yes. This is not a deal oh, breaker for me because the Point Linux is very fast compared to oh, Zorin good. or Linux Mint yeah. that I was using before you reviewed Point Linux. But the dimming thing is annoying when that watching a long video. Okay. Thanks for the great work that you do. Kevo, I'm happy to uh, do my best to help you out here. Uh, I, I really am enjoying Point Linux. Uh, this is... We were looking at a couple of different distros today. This is Point Linux. This is what I'm running on my system now. And it is beautiful. It's modern. It's sleek. It does everything that you need it to do. Hmm. But as you say, it's going to dim your monitor. You've got it plugged into your HDMI port. So guess what happens when you're watching a movie? The yeah. television dims as if it's going to screensaver. But you've checked everything off. And so why is it doing this? Because you've set it up properly, as I saw in the screenshots there and our viewers at home saw. But if you do stuff like this, does that happen? Do you have things like Expo? Do you have things like Cube? Or do you have things like, if I close a window, we're going to woo Hillary here. I know, I'm like, There's whoa. my terminal. And if I close it... Fire! Fire! That's cool. That is right? cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but what is that? That's comp is fusion. Oh. So there's a little something that you need to learn about your system now because it is point linux it's debian 7 but it looks like what gnome 2 but gnome 2 is gone it's deprecated it's been replaced by gnome 3 so what are we actually running we're running mate the mate desktop environment which is based on gnome 2 point something okay so what's different here is basically we used to go gconf editor right but guess what we've got mate conf dash editor okay it's the same thing as gconf editor remember that it's kind of like the registry for Linux but because we're running mate we need to use this one so what I want to do is I want to go apps and then go to comp is under comp is you should see plugins go there and see fade somewhere around here there it is and go to your screen go to options and you'll see something here dim unresponsive is checked by default and you're not going to find a setting for that necessarily in compass config settings manager so disable that just like that just an uncheck and it's done so now that's not going to happen to you anymore uh, on Ubuntu there's a couple of cool to tools um, uh, for example caffeine is is a pretty good one but it's not going to work because uh, it's not compatible with PC uh, with uh, with our, our point Linux the other thing that we might try uh, or other thing I would say I would suggest is go into a root terminal and from within that terminal see we're a root user now there's a couple of commands that we're going to enter and these are using the uh, xsec command which is uh, the user configuration utility for x so I'm going to go, go x set and you know what I'm actually going to do is uh, bring up a, a forum post here uh, let's see 
uh, cat5.tv slash no ss for no screen no screen saver okay cat5.tv slash no ss is going to take you to crunchbang.org it's a linux distro with a helpful community there are the commands that i want to use so we're going to use xset to disable the dpms uh, that's the the power management subsystem. Uh, we want to use Xset to set your screensaver to use no blank, which means it's not going to go blank, and then set your screensaver uh, to power to off so that your, sc your screensaver is actually disabled. So I can copy that whole command. I think it's a good thing to to do as well. Paste that into my terminal, or just type them. That's fine too. And remember, this is a root terminal. Done, done, done. Okay. So what that's now done is it's set my system to not use those things screensaver mm -hmm. basically that's a one-time thing if you want it to happen after a reboot um, you're gonna need to set that up in a script and have it auto start the setting that we changed in comp is that's the one that you're looking for and that is going to be persistent so if you reboot your computer it will still be set okay so I hope that helps. Category 5 TV is a production of Prodigy Digital Solutions and is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 2.5 Canada. Thanks for watching.